PeteTools.com. G'day guys, how are you all going today? Another beautiful day here in paradise. Hey, I'm about to dump the other day and I'm getting quite a bit of this galvanized steel at the moment. And I'm plasma cutting it and welding it and doing all sorts of stuff. And you can see the fumes and shit coming off it. And I thought to myself, well that can't be good for you Pete. So we need some sort of extractor system, I thought to myself. And then I thought, well I'll go through the crap that I found at the dump. And I uh, found one of these the other day. Actually I find a lot of these guys. Um, they're very old leaf blowers. This one blows and it sucks and it does all sorts of friggin' stuff, so it's really, really awesome. So I thought I'll see if I can make a fume extractor out of this. Uh, so like I say, I've actually got several of them, so I might uh, do one with the, coming from the top and then we might make a table or something and see if we can blow one from the bottom plus the one up the top. Anyway, talking shit again, Pete. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day to me at Pete's Tools if you want. And uh, yeah, let's see how we go with this, eh? Yeah! So what I've actually got guys is my messy work area here as you can see and over the back there I've got a few nuts and bolts and bits and pieces and this is basically the corner that I work in really and uh, if we come up on the ceiling see that that rafter up here that's what I'm going to hang my extractor system on because it's right above my table and if we come along here all I've done guys is put some zip ties on the rafters here let's have a look See that? We've got one zip tie there, and if we come along here towards the door, come along here, we've got another zip tie here. I just use zip ties because I find you can just leave them up there and you don't, I mean, if you hit your head on them, it doesn't make any difference. You don't knock yourself out or anything silly. There's another zip tie here. And if we go over there, there's another zip tie here, and then we've got the door here. And what I've got here, guys, is just a couple of PVC pipes, about three metres long, that I found at the dump. And I've had them for years, as you can see, all the dirt and stuff on them. They were a lot cleaner than that when I got them from the dump, actually. And on the end of them here, if you have a look here, guys, this bit of flexi tube here, and all it is is taped on. We go and have a look. See, all it is is taped on here, just with insulation tape. And this is just one of these flexi tubes, and that come off the back of a, a dryer that I found at the tip. So I just cut that off, and I thought I'll oh, we'll use that. So that just gives me a bit of flex on the end there or when I'm not welding or when I'm not cutting galvanized steel I just put this behind the shed and uh, just grab it next time I need it so what I, all I'm going to do guys is right under where I'm cutting here I'm going to hang my leaf blower and I just hang it on the rafter up the top here see so we're basically hanging right where I'm cutting pull it down this leaf blower here it's got a handle on it that just clips over the rafter here, as you can see. So we just hang it there so we're not damaging the leaf blower at all. See so how I just got that hanging over the rafter guys? Just just hanging over with the handle, no more, no less. Really easy. So all I do now guys is grab my bit of old pipe that I've got my flexible end on that I got off the dryer. And then I'll feed it through these little zip ties here. Just It's really easy so you can just pull it down when you don't need it. And you don't hit your head on it or anything like that. Run it through like so, till we get to the next zip tie here. Give it a little bit more peak. Like that. Come back, hook it onto this zip tie here. On that zip tie there, so it's self-supporting like that. Once again guys, just feed it through your little zip ties. They're really good these zip ties, I use them every other day. They're really, really cool. Feed them through. Yeah, it only takes five minutes to set this up guys and it might save yourself a trip to the hospital for gas in yourself which is probably a good thing and steam things really, wouldn't it, eh? Out the door, Pete. And then all we do guys is just join the two bits of pipe together, they just fit together like that. Now guys, because I haven't found the fitting for here on the uh, blow end, all I'm going to do is use my flexi hose here that I got off my dryer I'm going to pull it up and I'm just going to wrap some insulation tape around it. Just um, because you don't want anything permanent because I, I only cut so much at a time and then I won't cut anything for another couple of weeks, you know, the really fumy stuff, galvanized stuff. So I'm only cutting like galvanized stuff, you know, once or twice a fortnight. So I just tape it up, it's just as easy because, like I say, I just haven't found a fitting yet at the dump because, you know, me, I don't really buy anything. So we'll just tape this up. And why I don't do this permanently, guys, 
is for the simple reason that I still want to use it as a leaf blower when I've got to get rid of my leaves. You know, and it's not much point destroying one tool to make it into something else, you know, unless you had an old one lying around or something. Um, and he didn't mind converting. But uh, yeah, these took a lot of suck on these, and uh, yeah, like I say, it might save you a trip to hospital for sucking up fumes that you don't really want to. So that's, this is the only really pain that you've got to take this up every time. Well, I tried doing it just with a, with a zip tie, but it actually blows it off. It actually blows the hose off. It's got that much suction that it'll blow the hose off. There we go. That's on there. So I just use a little extension cord, guys. Plug it into the leaf blower and have the leaf blower turned on. I normally have it to maximum first. And then uh, we take the cord over the other way and plug it into an outlet that I just, can just control the on off on the outlet, if you understand what I'm saying. So guys, this is about what we're left with. We've got our sucker here, right in the middle of where we're working. Like I say, I only work on a, quite a small table. But uh, my thought was, if I had a bigger table, which I'm going to make, um, I might even do some videos on it when I make the bigger table, what I thought I would get was like a 40 gallon drum and just cut it about that and sort of have a have a big scoop here just above it. If you understand what I'm saying, if you cut just the bottom off a 40 gallon drum and then mount it up into here, that will give you a, a, a great big round sort of suction cup, if you understand what I'm saying. But in the meantime, I'm only using this because I'm only doing shortcuts at the moment. But uh, when I'm cutting galvanised, the fumes on this are absolutely lethal. I still wear a mask, but I use this as well. Um, this is just a little bit noisy, but uh, just put your earmuffs on. Uh, it really, really works. I'll show you guys. Turn them on. Cutting gold is really, really ugly, guys. The fumes coming off it, as you can see, are really, really bad for you. That's why you have to wear a mask while you're doing it as well. But uh, I use this because it's just, uh, just better be safe than sorry, eh? But this size, this would work for soldering or uh, MIG welding or any sort of thing, really. But it just um, needs a bigger dish on it, like I say, maybe a 40 gallon drum, cut a bit out of it, and just use the bottom like a big dish. So guys, that worked out all right, eh? I don't know if you've done any sort of galvanised welding or cutting up any sort of galvanised steel with your plasma cutter or even oxycetylene torch. It's not good for your health, I don't think it is anyway. Anyway guys, same as usual, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below if you want. Maybe you've got a better idea how to make a better fume extracted than that, but uh, I just try and use what I've got lying around anyway, you know how it is guys. You know me, cheap as chips, Pete, I don't like spending any more money than I have to. And if I can find my crap at the dump, that's all the better. Anyway, like I say, guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and uh, we'll see you next time, eh? Bye. Peachtools.com.